<laughs> Nate, are you ready to join me? Yeah, we're good to go. Awesome. That's great. Thanks so much for being here. If you'd like to share your screen, I can put it up here for you. I'm really looking forward to highlighting Route. This is one of my favorite tools. I recommend it to a majority of the merchants we talk to. It just seems to be one of those cliche no-brainer wins uh, that, that works uh, just all the time for merchants. Perfect to see the this here. Did you want to go full screen? There it is. Perfect. I will let you explain the tool and you can take it away from here. And you've got 15 minutes, so we'll go till uh, that's 35, 11, 35 about. Awesome. Hey, thanks so much, Derek. I'm, uh, I'm actually from San Diego and I may or may not have met you in a, a prior life. So I know you, I know those locations well. Oh, God. Um, that's awesome. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> Super excited to be here. Um, we've been working with Derek and their team for a while now. Uh, I'm no longer in San Diego, though. I'm with Route. We are in Utah. Um, I'm going to show you what our technology is, keep it as simple as possible, because at the end of the day, our product really is pretty simple um, at its core. And it's a free product, and we're helping out merchants, business owners of all sizes. Um, so we've only been around a couple of years. We're about two years old. I've been with the team almost since the start, uh, helping develop some of the sales and partnerships teams with them, but we're growing fast. So we have around 10,000 merchants that are using Route, um, over 5 million downloads of our app. We are international, so we, we work and operate and track and protect, which I'll get into, um, packages uh, all over the world, except for maybe a couple countries that you know you probably don't want to visit anyway. Um, no offense. So the route experience in general is we're just trying to consolidate the whole post purchase experience. I think historically, um, merchants, business owners have and uh, marketers as well have, have focused so much on getting people to your site, to your product, and clicking purchase. But afterwards, that post-purchase space, there's no consolidation, or at least there hasn't been the way we thought we could help out. Um, it's not always clear uh, which service you'll use to track or if, uh, if something happen happens during shipping, how you would even file a claim, um, et cetera. So our goal is to consolidate that. And we have four main pillars that we do that through. So one is protection. We offer shipping protection. Um, you know, it's a customer facing option. And so the only thing we have monetized here at route to date is paid for by the customer. And I'll go into detail of how that works, uh, tracking. So our patented technology is visual tracking on a map, um, regardless of what merchant it's coming from. And you can see all of your shipments on one map, zoom in and out et cetera. Uh, they don't have to use or work with route necessarily for you to track their package. And our tracking technology is free. Resolution, again, huge with the post-purchase space. Um, if you did protect your package, we have a simple one-click means of resolving any issue should it arise during transit. And engagement uh, is that final pillar this whole experience post-purchase, we've managed to allow brands to own that real estate and keep it all in their branded uh, element. So merchants set up a branded profile that customers are tracking, filing a claim, revisiting the site, et cetera. Um, the whole post-purchase uh, engagement piece is just real estate that hasn't been used in the past. So protection I mentioned first. Um, What's funny with uh, e-commerce in general is 94% of customers, if something goes wrong during transit, are going to blame the brand, even though it's not their fault. It's not fair. Um, I feel like you know some of your business owners listening are shaking your head silently behind your computer right now, but it, it's just what happens. It's human nature. We get bitter, we have a sour taste in our mouth if something goes wrong, broken, lost, stolen, damaged, et cetera. And the brand gets blamed, not the carrier or not carrier delays. Um, 
And we have looked uh, across the board and 80% of them are, are unlikely to repurchase from that brand. So the protection piece that we offer and how a customer might come to learn or hear about route the first time to begin with is at the checkout cart. So customer shops, just like they normally do, add a few products to their shopping cart, they get to checkout and auto calculated at checkout is uh, shipping protection against anything lost, broken, stolen, damaged. Um, we see over 50% of people attaching or leaving the protection as part of their purchase. There's a number of reasons, peace of mind, psychologically, it just gives them more trust in clicking buy or purchase. Um, Again, this is what the customer facing widget would look like on a mobile version. Uh, and yeah, it's around 50, 70% attachment rate. It's gonna vary, but we've noticed, so let's say expensive wine bottles, there might be 90% of people attaching protection to the purchase. And we get the question often, well, what about like apparel or a t-shirt that's $25? Uh, surprisingly, we still see around a 30, 40% attachment rate. So that's how many people are still opting to, dis to protect their package. Um, again, the peace of mind, they know if something goes wrong, it'll be taken care of, uh, et cetera. Some of our merchants do decide to protect all packages that get sent out from their shop. That's not as common. There's a, a main difference is the merchants are paying for insuring all of their orders and they would just advertise that all orders coming from their site are protected. But I would say 95% of the, the merchants we work with have it in this opt out model because the customer does pay for it and the attachment rate is so high. So after they make their purchase, whether they include protection or not, Route is going to prompt them to use our, our technology to track their package. Um, it is visual tracking, it is on a map, it's free, regardless of if they paid for protection or not. Some of our merchants set up their site with only the tracking element. It is a standalone asset. Um, some of them set it up with just tracking uh, enabled for their website and don't offer the protection, it's up to you. But same thing, customer orders a product at the confirmation page, they are prompted to uh, track their package with route. They sync the email that they use and it's gonna automatically comb or pull all of that data for your package and you will receive push notifications. And there's a number of push notifications that come through during the, the uh, delivery or shipping process. But um, a, a cool quote I read recently was transparency trumps speed when it comes to delivery. And I think that's so true. If people just know where their packages are getting proactive push notifications of where they are, it's, it's gonna alleviate some of those pains of shipping delays that are out of your control anyway. Um, these are some examples of the timeline when some of those push notifications would go out. Um, we are uh, browser tracking capable as well. So we're not just trying to get people to use our app. Um, there's a web link you can track on browser. You, uh, you can sync whatever email you want. Like I mentioned, I, I'm a consumer as well. I use route on my phone. Um, I track all of my packages using this technology, but same thing with the browser experience. Um, the merchants with setting up route have the ability to send that confirmation prompt as well as an email or one or the other, neither. It's, it's up to you what you have enabled. Again, the whole tracking experience and post-purchase experience really is in that branded uh, experience. So the resolution piece, uh, going back to those customers that did decide to include protection as part of their purchase, and real quick, um, if I didn't mention it before, uh, another thing that plays into why the attachment rate is so high is because the protection is inexpensive. It's a flat 98 cents for anything less than $100, over $100 cart value, and it's usually one or 2% of the total cart value. 
Um, with resolution, if something does occur, you know, lost, damage, stolen, broken, it's a self-reporting claim um, through the app or the browser, or they can go back to that email and find how to, to file the claim. It's an automated approval process. So over 95% of all claims that come through are automated and are got to, gotten to within the hour. Um, if it does, if, if more questions are required, it does escalate to one of our service reps and they might reach out to a customer to see if, uh, or gain or gather more information if, if necessary, let's say a high ticket item that might require a police report if you know you have a watch stolen off your your front porch while you're at work um, the approval process is quick again this is self-serve so this is freeing up time and energy from your cs team and what that uh, means when we do um, approve or handle one of these claims is a couple things and this is pretty critical if they have protection they file a claim our default is an auto triggered event on our end to go back route goes back to your website and repurchases the product and sends it to the customer. So just let that sink in for a second, rather than eating the costs and dealing with emails and phone calls from frantic customers. Instead, they file the claim. It's auto approved. We go back to your website. We repurchase the product. So a double sale, rather than eating the cost and sending another one from your inventory. A double sale in this case, and we send it to the customer. And what normally is a headache experience for the customer, um, they end up leaving with a CSAT score of 95%. So customer satisfaction, 95%. Um, everyone's happy, merchants happy, the double sale. If for some reason, or not for some reason, if the product is sold out or not available, or let's say a one of a kind type of product, then the next default is refund and we wire them the money. Same thing, it's auto approved 95% of the time. If not, it's still gotten to in under 24 hours. Um, these are all just kind of earth shattering and, and play a huge part into why we're, we're growing so rapidly and so many merchants of every size are using route. Um, and hopefully we have some time at the end for questions because um, there's there'll probably be some about that. But the engagement piece um, this is this is incredible in my opinion. You can see on the, the screen, Cotopaxi, they're one of the first brands that started working with us. When you set up Route, um, you do set up that personalized branded experience with your logo. Um, when they're tracking, they click on the logo, it opens up this merchant portal. It's about as simple as an Instagram page when creating. So you just drag and drop images, your link. Um, link back to your site there's a complete order history we're, we're the first ones to be doing that so entire order history if you bought a hat two years ago from Cotopaxi or wherever and you lost it when you were out boating you can go back click on that product and if it's still available it takes you to the site or something similar if it's gone um, this click-through rate if any of you out there are in marketing you you should like that number a lot that's an extremely high click-through rate from the tracking experience, getting people back to your website. Um, and a lot of that is due to the push notifications. Per order, we see people open up the app or track using route over seven times per order. That is seven times they're going to your real estate that you now own, seeing your brand, your imagery, um, a promotional banner at the top if you want, a link back to your site, a high click-through rate, et cetera. So this is just quite a bit different than um, sending people to UPS or FedEx.com, copy and pasting your tracking and getting a little sentence about it might be in, you know, um, Albuquerque. Implementation, this is the final thing. Um, so implementation, we are plug and play with uh, some of the big e-commerce platforms, so Shopify, Big Commerce, WooCommerce, PrestaShop, uh, Wix, Magento. It's it's just an app you install. It takes about two minutes to set up. Um, we are also open API for some of the sites that would require that. Um, we do offer expert implementation to get set up. 
Um, again, if you did this on your own, it takes about two or three minutes, but we love offering the white glove experience. Our team is more than happy to hop on, make sure you have all the settings uh, correct, um, your imagery correct for that branded element, et cetera. Um, and wow, I feel like Derek, because that was a mouthful and I tried to get it all out and now I can breathe. Yeah. Uh, that's amazing. And I, I think you, you know, it, it's, it, it's, it's, it was in the middle of the presentation, but the, the lead, the, the number one juicy thing that I think everyone needs to know about route is that when that order gets lost, damaged or stolen, they go to you for the replacement. And then you go to the website and buy the product, creating a second order and more revenue for the store instead of them eating the cost of goods sold and having to send out the replacement. To me, that's one of the biggest wins here where because um, it costs nothing for the merchant to install. So I'm, I'm hoping some merchants are taking note and, and thinking about pushing this tool live to their Shopify stores today with the auto opt in in place. So I guess you call that an opt out, but I think of it as an opt in. Or I call it auto opt in. So they have to uncheck it to opt out. We found that to be the best uh, adoption uh, policy as well. And then there are sometimes some minor things that we have to change to our like shipping policy and stuff, right? Yeah, sometimes there's some uh, customized things. You don't want to send a couple different emails for tracking or confuse them with another option to resolve an issue. Unless, you know, some brands want to keep what they have going. Uh, again, it's case by case and we, we set them up how they would like. But we're not trying to replace CS teams. We're just trying to be a tool in your toolbox to alleviate some of the pains they do feel. Yeah, and, you can... Uh, you can reduce ticket, yeah, tickets by like 30, 40%. That can be absolutely massive to merchants. So I love it. Yeah, absolutely. We see 30, 40% reduction in tickets. A lot of those tickets are, you know, where's my package at anyway? Um, and I wasn't joking at the start. The only, only thing we've monetized is the customer facing option. So for a merchant, there's not a contract. There's not a fee on top of it. There's no cost to merchants to utilize our technology. I love it. We have to move into the next session. If you're listening, check out route at ecomtech.link forward slash route. All right, Nate, thanks so much. We're going to move right on.